he can't shoot, won't shoot, and doesn't really like to talk about it. For reasons both logical and illogical, that tends to bother fans, both inside and outside Philly. In this writer's humble opinion, Ben Simmons is very good at basketball. In fact, he would be the best player on a fair amount of NBA teams. Very few people can do what Simmons does on the basketball court. It may be fun to poke holes in his game, but frankly, Simmons is not the only star with a signature weakness. It is past time to appreciate Ben Simmons for what he is, the key to the Sixers' playoff run. The Sixers need Ben Simmons more than many are willing to admit. In fact, jumper or no jumper, he is the key to Philadelphia's postseason success. No player on the roster can or will outweigh the importance of Joel Embiid. He is a top two MVP candidate for good reason, and the Sixers' title aspirations begin and end at his doorstep. That said, there is no question, not even room for a harmless debate, that Simmons is no. Two on the list of importance. Even in the playoffs, when teams key into his shooting, or lack thereof. Simmons does a lot offensively. He did a lot offensively in the Sixers game 1 victory over Washington. He posted only 6 points, but simultaneously dropped 15 assists to create well over 30 points for the Sixers' offense. While assists are not always a great barometer for playmaking efficiency, Simmons only committed two turnovers and was essential to Philadelphia's third quarter run, which pretty much sealed the deal. Even without a jumper, Simmons was able to collapse the defense and spray the ball around the floor to open shooters. Even without a jumper, Simmons was able to overcome a poor shooting night to undoubtedly benefit the game in a positive manner. Doc Rivers can go overboard with his praise, but the general sentiment is correct, Ben Simmons does so too many good things to receive the level of criticism he receives. As a gesture of good faith to those more skeptical of Simmons' impact, it is impossible to deny his shortcomings. It would be nice to get a steadier dose of aggressive, downhill drives that result in points, rather than passes. His 0 for 6 performance at the charity stripe in Game 1 was also a bummer, if also an aberration. Even with his flaws, however, Simmons was critical to the Sixers' offensive success in Game 1. Then, of course, there's the defensive side, where he played a key role in Philadelphia's attempt to keep Bradley Beal in check. While the NBA's no. Two scorer still got his to the tune of 33 points, Simmons made it exceedingly difficult. Beal had to work hard all night, and his inability to mount a fourth quarter comeback was largely a testament to Simmons' lingering presence. The Wizards' offense does not have much juice in the half-court. It is basically Bradley Beal and Davis Burton's gunning around screens and springing jumpers, or Russell Westbrook haphazardly bricking elbow-range jump shots.